a big bill and we're decent. That's right. You know what, the PCC, we love it when things escalate. We're all about escalation. So here's a challenge for Ricky Starks and Big Bill this Saturday at Collision. Ricky Starks, Big Bill, oh, yeah. so you guys against me and Claudio Castagnoli. John Moxley, Claudio, you know, both of you have title matches next week for Grand Slam. You're going to be defending the international title against Ray Phoenix. You versus Eddie Kingston, title for some time. Yeah, we don't call those. Title matches, we call it having a day off, baby. We call that easy work, right, Claudio? That's right. Andy, we... I'm going to beat you next week. I'm going to beat you next week. We can ask the Companies, you get a jingle. Ooh, nice begonias. And then, GM, you get a dedicated rep whose top priority is you. Did that just. No jingles or mascots, just great insurance. And, GM, get a quote today. Tourists. Tourists that turn into scientists. Tourists taking photos that are analyzed by AI. So researchers can help life underwater flourish. to call you. Okay. Yeah. But it doesn't help if you don't see nothing in the line. Call me for them. How do you know that I got the phone? You want to call me. I'm not saying nothing bad. I'm saying that if you call me and you don't see nothing in the line, how do you know that I have the phone? Look what you've created. It's like Nirvana. More big thing for me than ever. Seven days a week on TBS. Welcome back to an already wild night of dynamite. And we're once, once again go to the back with Renee Paquette standing by with a cold hearted, handsome devil. Thanks, guys. I'm here with the FDW champion, Hook. Congratulations regaining your title at AEW All in London. How does this championship run feel different? Orange Cassidy, hi. Hey. What's up? I'm just walking around and I saw a book here all mad about something. And what are you going to be mad about? You're here, you can wrestle, you don't have tape all over your body, and you have a championship. 
I used to have a championship. You're a great champion. Thanks, man. You are too. Thanks, they're done. Okay. I'm, I'm still so tired. Interesting
That's right. Jimmy John's wraps are here to stay. She found it. The feeling of finding the psoriasis treatment she's been looking for. So Tiktu is the first of its kind, one daily pill for moderate to severe plaque psoriasis. For the chance at clear or almost clear skin, it's like the feeling of finding your back is back. Or finding psoriasis can't deny the splendor of these thighs. Reactions can occur. So tip two can lower your ability to fight infections, including TB. Serious infections, cancers including lymphoma, muscle problems, and changes in certain labs have occurred. Tell your doctor if you have an infection, liver or kidney problems, high triglycerides, or have a vaccine or plan to. So tip two is a tip two inhibitor. Tip two is part of the Jack family. It's not known if so tip two has the same risks as Jack inhibitors. Find what plaque psoriasis has been hiding. Ask your dermatologist about the tip two for clearer skin. So clearly you. So tip two. I was told my small business wouldn't qualify for an ERC tax refund. You should get a second opinion from Innovation Refunds at no upfront costs. Sometimes you need a second opinion. <laughs> gotta go. Yeah, I think I'll get a second opinion. All these walls gotta go. I'd love a uh, second opinion. No. I'm gonna get a second opinion. With Innovation Refunds, there's no upfront cost to find out, so why not check like I did for my small business? Take the first step to see if your small business qualifies for the ERC. Kinder Bueno. It's crispy. It's creamy. It's not your average chocolate bar. The smooth milk chocolate, crispy wafer, creamy hazelnut filling. It's Kinder Bueno. At Jameson, we like to do things differently. A smooth, triple distilled Irish whiskey, brown with a twist of orange flavor. Now yeah, that's just showing off. Meet Jameson Orange. Summer. You didn't like it. No. Oh. I mean, I used to sing on cruises. What made you stop? Um, the cruises. Bourbon barbecue wings. There we go. Hot and chicken. All new and practical jokers inside shows. Thursdays on True TV. Are just going to and fro clicking the booth. In practical jokers inside shows. All new Thursdays at 9:30 on True TV. A new class of two is starting at Hagrid University. Think funny thoughts. To be the wackiest, looniest tunes they can be. Was that funny? Tiny Tunes University, Saturday mornings at 9 on your Cartoon Network. Who will go on to Grand Slam one week from tonight and face Soraya for the AEW Women's World Championship? Will it be Tony Storm? Will it be Hikaru Shida? Nyla Rose Moore, Dr. Britt Baker, D and D. We are on the verge of finding out live here tonight. Yeah, we've said, said that Tony Storm is uh, not doing well mentally because of what's been going on. She has to think back that it was a year ago that she was the women's world champion at this time. Nice release turn by Storm. Oh, oh, the hip attack in the corner of Hikaru Shida there. Sees it not. Nicely done. Rainbow from Hikaru Shida. But she was a back turn. Bopped is ready. Bopped is ready. Oh. Britt Baker pulled up short. We've seen a lot of cooperation, a lot of teamwork between the Shida and Britt Baker over the last couple of weeks. And now it's stereo chop blocks there. But you know, she just got to realize this is every woman for herself sure. to win this four way eliminator. That's right. You can't pull back now. You got to get it in with like a Tony Skyler. Oh, this could be it. The two. No bother. Knee to the back of the head. Was in the front row. Great anticipation there by Nyla Rose. Exactly. The Nyla pulled up Tony, and I don't think that knee was meant for Tony by Sheeta. But it would have won the match and not been for the save because Tony Storm was out, I thought. And she's still there. Nyla Rose, that choke slam. Landon Britt Baker, and now grabs a beast bomb for him on Sheeta. Beast bomb Jones. Oh. Sheeta, quick reversal, but Nyla sets a flip. No. The cover. The leg is low. And Sheeta. Coming at the knee strike to the back. She is looking good. She can go on the grand slam down the main next week. The Katana. There it is. Hush. Now there's momentum carried around the bottom row. She has stopped her. Two and a half. Baker, the thrust kick to the side of the head. Well, no hesitation there. To have none at all. And I don't blame Rick Baker. And a play to the storm. The roll of two.
WWE Women's Champion Soraya, as well as Ruby Soho. Uh, ladies, we now know that next week at Grand Sunny will be facing Tony Storm for the AEW Women's Championship. But this time around at Grand Slam, how different things feel for you? Well, first of all, Tony, congratulations, baby girl. You did it, and you did it without us. We could not be prouder, I guess, is the word. Yeah, but things are a little bit different, Renee. Because when I walked in a year ago, you know, I was the new kid on the block, and Tony Storm was the champion. But she lost it. You know what else she lost? Everything to me. She lost her championship. She lost her friends. She lost her top spot as the biggest star. That's me now. And she also lost her mind. She's crazy, Renee. But you know what? You know what else she's going to lose? She's going to lose the match at Grand Slam. Because I'm going to be walking out AEW Women's Champion. And then she's going to be left with nothing. But that's it. Thank you. So will attempt to make the first defense of her AEW Women's World Championship away from tonight at Dynamite Grand Slam. But coming up next, we will hear from the Ocho, Chris Jericho, and Sammy Guevara live on Dynamite. <laughs> you realize it's possible to get out there to feel a sense of camaraderie again to find the tools to live life better through generous community support we've connected warriors and their families with no cost physical and mental health services legislative advocacy career assistance and life skill training for 20 years and we're just getting started I saw who were soaring out of the and sensorizers. I was on a journey for a really long time to find some relief. Cosentix works for me. Cosentix helps real people get real relief from the symptoms of psoriatic arthritis or psoriasis. Serious allergic reactions and an increased risk of infections or lowered ability to fight them may occur. Tell your doctor if you have an infection or symptoms, had a vaccine or plan to, or if IBD symptoms develop or worsen. I move so much better because of Cosentix. Ask your rheumatologist about Cosentix. We're kicking off game day with a Twisted Tea drop. We're surprising real Twisted Tea fans who love the smooth and refreshing taste of Twisted Tea hard iced teas. Real brew tea with 5% alcohol. Keep it twisted. The new four quarter calzone from Little Caesars is a four meat pizza with a different meat to meat calzone crust. It's perfect for movie night, big day, sleepover, and NFL football games. Get the four quarter calzone for $8.99. Pizza, pizza. Just press Something weird is happening. I want to see how it plays out. Modern Family, September 25th on TBS.
with sex gods going one on one. Jericho versus Guevara for the first time ever, like I said. Lots of history behind this match. Sammy and I have been together for four years since the very first episode of Dynamite. We've been together through highs and lows, ups and downs and ups again. As a matter of fact, we wanted to remind you about some of the great memories and great times we've had over those years. Let's check out the package that we put together for you guys here tonight. Right here in Cincinnati. Chris Jericho's sidekick. I got into professional wrestling to be the man, to be world champion. I want this place to look at me the way they look at Mox, the way they look at Danielson, the way they look at you. But I 
I know. I know in my heart that's never going to happen as long as I'm in your shadow. So that's why I need to beat you next week. It's true. Everything you said is true. But let me get one more thing straight, Sammy. You were never brought into AEW to be Chris Jericho's sidekick. Okay, you were brought here to become a main event player, a money-making draw for AEW, and you were getting closer and closer every single week. And that's why I told you months ago, I told you and Danny Garcia too, if you want to get to the next level, you got to do it outside of Chris Jericho's influence. You have to do it on your own. And next week, you have the biggest opportunity to do it your way. It's one of the biggest matches of your career. It's one of the biggest matches of my career. And you have to beat me to get to the next level. But if you're going to beat Chris Jericho, you're going to have to be the best Sammy Guevara that you've ever been. You're going to have to be better than you've ever been before if you have a chance to beat me. Let's face it, I know it, you know it, everybody watching at home knows it. You're faking that neck injury. 
Now my neck, yeah, it's a little screwy, but I promise after I'm through with you, if you make it through this Grand Slam tournament on September 20th, I will rip your head off and shove it straight up your ass! But frankly, it seems like you already beat me to it. Well, you've been acting. You're an incredibly manipulative person. I'm sorry, Adam, it's just true. You're a wet blanket and a third wheel. So if I were you, I'd shake it off, you bland bitch. Samoa Joe! You think I'm afraid of you, man? See, I learned at a very young age that it is not the size of the dog in the fight. It's about the size of the fight in the dog. And you might not realize this, but this New York pit bull's got a whole lot of bite. September 20th, Grand Slam, you better pray to God you don't win this tournament, Joe. Because let me make you a promise that is crystal clear. If you wrestle me, I am going to choke you out. I repeat, if you wrestle me, I promise on my life, I am going to choke you. You out! And if you don't believe me, let me get it through your thick, fat skull with some simple math. See, normally if you go one-on-one -on -one with another wrestler, you got a 50-50 chance of winning. But I'm a genetic freak, and I'm not normal. So you got a 25% chance at best to beat me. Then you have my boy Cole watching my back to the mix, your chances of winning drastically go down. See, at our match at Grand Slam, you got a 33 and one-third chance of winning, but I got a 66 and two-third chance of winning because everyone in New York knows you can't beat me. So Samoa Joe, you take your 33 and one-third chance minus my 25% chance, and you got an eight and one-third chance of winning at Grand Slam. But then you take my 75% chance of winning, since we're wrestling in my home state of New York, and then you add 66 and two-third percent chance, I got a 141 and two-third percent chance of winning at Grand Slam. See, Joe, the numbers don't lie, and they spell disaster for you in our threat. Disaster! Because we're better than you, baby. Well, I think that math is straight out of the University of Michigan. <laughs> yeah, that's the end of the tournament. We're going to the Alex. Just using that to generate momentum. Lord. 
his shoulder and dropped Hangman. He just ate two boots and Joel and came right back with that little shoulder punch. Little bridge there, but Brian Cage hung on to the top rope. Hangman explodes off the middle. The first one missed, the second one connects. Great job by Hangman and just the first and going to the other corner. Much misdirection shots. Those blows are very important that you see in Hangman Page from left to right, direct left, left. That keeps your opponent rocked. Now Hangman over the top of Cage. Again, intercepted Hangman. Back to the spot. Off the roof boost. And we saw it from, from their first two encounters. Cage using that power bomb into the ropes, but Hangman anticipating that counter with a rope and run. Brian showed that hit that pulls hard. And Hangman coming over the top this time, getting a better the machine. But the machine was up under the kitchen that time, but no Hangman connected. Well, Duffy, when you get your shoulder turned into a ring pole, she can tear an AC joint in your bicep tendon or rotator cuff. Remember the words from Swerve Strickland a week ago to hang that out in Dave? It doesn't seem like you even want to be here anymore. You're just, you're just taking up space. And it's, it's Swerve's time, it's Mobile Embassy's time to take center stage. Yeah, you have your cage attack out of nowhere. And when that happens, you're going to have Swerve and have the distraction going. No distractions now, that was a straight close on right there. My <laughs> cage going hard with that Larry to me. Well, last week goes back, back to what we were uh, talking about earlier tonight, that when you have the Mobile Embassy, you've got the numbers game. We know we've used that term before. He did last week. Let's see how it plays out here. Now Hangman comes back, swinging on the miss. Cage pops him up. Ah, sends Cage into the ropes. Get moving, Hangman. What are you doing? What are you going to do? Where are you going? Where are you going? Hangman, Cage, coming through the stairs. Cage, 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 Cool stuff. 
mystery. Justin loves playing detective. But the real mystery was her irritated skin. So we switched to Tide Pod 3 and Gentle. It cleans better and doesn't leave behind irritating residues. And it's gentle on her skin. Tide Free and Gentle is EPA Safer Choice certified. It's got to be time. This Friday, the date for the murder. It looks like fun. That's not an expression in any language. We're going to tell you about hunting in Venice. We're PG-13. Oh, look. Glow's Progressive Soup. So delicious. Ooh, tender chicken. The anticipation is killing me. Just over to something already. Yes, it's precious and it'll just fine. Progressive Soup. You simply must taste it. Welcome back to EW Dynamite. I'm Excalibur, joined by Tony Schiavone and the human suplex machine, Ted. And right now, we are witnessing the third match in the trilogy between Brian Cage and Hangman Page. Cage covers two, two, and three. Hangman Page is barely talking about who would have done it. The power of Brian Cage is not going to keep Hangman down when you don't put the blood to lose, but the blood is strong on Hangman. He just easily got out of it. And then we saw it work. That Swerve Strickland and Prince Nana of Taz, it was a week ago. That Swerve Strickland, he basically said to, to Hangman, he said, step aside or else I'll make you. Yeah, no, definitely. But someone puts you on notice like that, puts you out black in front of the rock, and it'll wake you up. This Hangman is a bad actor. He's a big, tall, strong, and beautiful Virginia that can throw hands. He's going for the ground now with Brian Cage. Fans just got a chance to join us. We want to meet folks on the night. Time like Grand Slam, Rapid Grand Slam, Arthur Ashe Stadium in Queens, New York. AEWTIX.com. As Hangman landed, the high boots stop. Oh, we need to win for a moment. The win it, right? Cage with a power slam, rolls through. Off his back to cover. Instead, we hit the song. That's not the only home. We're not going to find a guy with the muscle mass and the, the look, the physique, and everything of Brian Cage and athleticism. It's amazing. The way you're right, Chad. The way the man can move is astounding for a man his size. We're going to take a look at some of those moves once again, Chad. Well, so the moves are going to be really good. It's going to be the tiny guts for his size, it's got to it's insane. It's, it's the, the power and agility combination of Brian Cage is why you recruited him for Team Taz, and it's why he's a member of the Mobile Embassy today. Yeah, no, it's a big part of him for sure, but he's doing awesome on his own. But right now, I don't know what he can say these punches, because the handman is getting real hot. The handman can take the punch. We know that. Man, he sent his jaw. He blocked the shot. Landed five in a row, I believe, and now swing a wrist by the machine. And we'll move the top. And that hit, hit hard. And that apron, the front of me with the apron. Swerve. Looking on. I mean, can't tell if that's, that, that's some respect for an hangman or just absolute disdain. I think it's somewhat intimidation, too, because listen, he can watch in the back, right? So he just wants to let man know he's out here. I think that it's a lot of that. I do think it's a lot of red space in the guy's head. I think that's what Strickland's doing to Hangman right now. And it might force Hangman this match. Hangman gets caught by Brian Cage for the second time this match. Now, bicep curl the man. Oh, oh, what a counter by Hangman. Awesome. Tremendous anticipation, tremendous counter wrestling by Hangman. So the look of Nana's face on the outside picks Nana with a good shot. The big man just rolled all the way, slumped right on the floor in his last roll, man. Hit hard. Cage is an 18-year veteran of this initiative, of this sport. He knows when to get out of dodge, and that was the time to just slow everything down. Big matchup, man. Kick through the ropes. Since Cage is for the barricade now. They just rock bad guys. Hangman, uh oh. 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 You have an athlete the size of Hangman coming down at you at high velocity. It is disastrous even for Solomon. I thought it was a very good pin combination. They couldn't get it done. She had a man go for broke right here. Look at this throw out all the stops. And watch this cross body right here. Yeah, following the front line. Connecting with the cross body on the machine. Brian Cage, but Cage not out of this one yet. These two guys 
battle number three between these two men has been phenomenal. And this is one match. The German suplex, and man, seems dazed by that one. A German suplex will definitely rock your skull, man, if you land the, the way that you don't need to land. That's what happened there. You gotta get out of the grip of the Brian Cage. And then he puts the drill ball on. Like he did in the first match I won that we saw earlier. This is over. This is the suplex we mentioned earlier that Cage might do next time. It's like Brian Cage, and looking for that outside in suplex off the ropes. Now he's hiding his hips off the point right early. He's saying, look at Cage hanging on here. Big elbow stretch, but Cage hanging out of his shoulder. Sweeps up the leg. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Time for the buck shot. Oh, yeah, he's got a buck shot, boys. Oh, no. Oh, oh. Seth Cage back towards center. And he had a buck shot. No. And we have it. Oh, 
You're asking about Chris Jericho. You're asking about Sammy Guevara. Why don't we talk about how the Arizona Cardinals were winning my dance this past Sunday after they got a sack? Why don't we talk about how I went viral four times over in one month? Why don't we talk about the career of Daniel Garcia that just keeps climbing and climbing? I could not agree more. I would love to hear more about the career of Daniel Garcia because I know from being Chris Jericho's best friend for 34 years that when you're around Jericho, it's all about him. He's the ultimate narcissist. Now, the Don Callis family, we are going to construct a utopian meritocracy whereby each member for themselves, for... Wow. That's money. Renee, that's money. Let's get some of that money. That's money. Tony, Jimmy John's Raps are here to stay. Curse you, Chicken Caesar! And Jalapeno Ranch. And Jalapeno Ranch! <laughs> That's right, Jimmy John's Raps are here to stay. Biggest thing I've learned so far? Don't sweat the small stuff. No. Found it. Finding my light. No, no, knowing my cue. Just trying not to overthink things. <laughs> M&M's, for all fun kind. Shelves. Shelves smart enough to see. Sense. React. We stop. So Caramel Swirl is always there for the taking. The new four quarter calzone from Little Caesars is a four meat pizza with a different meat in each calzone crust. It's perfect for all of you. Sleepover! And NFL football games! Get a four quarter calzone for $8.99. Pizza, pizza. Not all canned beans are the same. To show you why Goya black beans are so good, we brought in the experts. Whole and plump. Approved. Award-winning taste. Approved. Approved. Every can of Goya black beans is packed with goodness. If it's Goya, it has to be good. Check it out. 
side hustles? There's no way they were Saturday. Interesting. Hmm. It's both electric and a gas car. Neil? Quite the paradox. Hmm. 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 So, JJ Storage? The first ever Lexus RX plug in hybrid. Electric for short trips, gas for long. It really is both. Kinder Bueno. It's crisp. It's creamy. It's not your average chocolate bar. The smooth milk chocolate, crispy wafer, creamy hazelnut filling. It's Kinder Bueno. Imagine this a mild to moderate eczema treatment that helps clear skin without pills, injections, or steroids. Imagine using one single cream to help kick the itch. No, it's not imaginary. It's Opsilora. Eczema treatment reimagined. Opsilora is proven to help clear or almost clear skin and significantly reduce itch fast. Imagine that. including TB or hepatitis B or C. Serious lung infections, skin cancer, blood clots, and low blood cell counts occur with Ocelora. In people taking JAK inhibitors, serious infections, increased risk of death, lymphoma, other cancers, and major cardiovascular events have occurred. The most common side effect was the common cold. Imagine an eczema treatment you can apply wherever you need it, like here and here. That's Opsilora. Relief reimagined. Ask your doctor about reducing eczema itch fast with Opsilora. Mm. Only five goats, one for junior times two. Then with the juniors, that's your cue. One for you, one for your friends to go. JK, you ain't a bolt. You'll never know. BK, having your way. Up next, Deliwitch from Hot Pockets. Ham and cheese on delicious bread, a must pack for every parent. We now go to Matt, currently stuffing his face. Mm. Deliwitch from Hot Pockets. Awesomely portable. Welcome back to AEW, Dynamite, Darby Allen and Nick Wayne trying to withstand this assault by Cool Hand Angelo Parker, Danny Magic, Matt Menard, and we have Christian Cage and the TNT champion, Luchasaurus, joining us here at the commentary position. Uh, just noticing here Nick Wayne getting picked apart, you have to wonder if he had a better mentor, how things might be different, how he might be making different choices throughout the course of this match. Darby Allen, as we said, tremendous mentor to Nick Wayne. Right there, and the quick tag, Darby Hill's the cool 